Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine. I am your host, Christine Blasdale, and I am so very happy that you're joining us today. I have a very special guest, and especially if you are a woman or if you're someone who loves a woman, you really, really need to pay attention to this program because what we're going to be talking about is a subject matter that's not talked about nearly enough, and people are not educated nearly enough on the subject matter, but I'm going to ask you a question. Are you losing sleep? Are you losing your hair? Are you losing your mind? Do you lack the energy to live the life and be in the body that you want? How many, how many of us can say that? No, you're not going crazy, and my guest is going to tell you that why you're not going crazy and what you can do about it. My guest today is Caroline Angel. She is the founder of the Whole Transformation and Happy Hormones program. She helps busy women find their hormonal balance so they can get back to their vibrant, sexy selves. And boy, do we want to get back to our vibrant, sexy selves. I am so very happy to have you on, Caroline Angel. Welcome to Out of the Box with Christine. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be on the show and share with your audience. Thank you for having me on. I am I am so happy because this is a subject matter that is it's like I was saying, it's not discussed and even the medical profession there's very little attention that's paid to women the time in our lives where we're we're changing we're growing in many ways uh intellectually and but there's something happening to our bodies that's what's right. going on exactly and you know what it's like you know that i have a teen i have teenagers it's like we're going the the a similar version of what the teenagers are going through but at a different time in our lives and um it's cumulative effect of the things that we've done or not done and it adds up and it makes it even you know, either it's going to be a graceful transition or it's going to be a violent transition, which most modern women experience, unfortunately. And, you know, hormones are such a complicated topic. We in the science um, arena have just scratched the surface, barely. And so there's a lot of people going around trying to like throw things to see what hits, um, the sticks. Throwing pasta so on the wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So on the wall, see what sticks, and it's a lot of misses, uh, you know, compared to hits. And you know, I'm I'm so grateful to be sharing with your audience what I've learned over the years. And so um, let's well, let's get started. How did you get into this kind of work? Um, because it's again, it's something that is. Uh, maybe it's under the radar with uh, with a lot of people, and we don't, we're not prepared for this change in life. I don't, nobody tells you. It's the same thing. Like, you know, they say they don't tell you the important things about being a mother. They don't, they don't tell you these things. They don't tell you about this change of life when, um, at a, at a time in our lives too, when we're actually, you know, we're going full, full throttle, throttle. usually, mm -hmm. right? You're taking care of kids. You've got a career, you're doing all this stuff. And all of a sudden you're like, why is it that I'm so bloody tired? Why is it that I'm losing my hair? Why is it that my skin is changing? What's happening? Oh my gosh, all of these things. So I would love for you to tell the audience how you got started in this work. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So I've been in the wellness and health field for since I was a teenager. And I've been on this path for a long time. And I remember years ago, before I came to this path, women used to come to me <clears throat> asking me for help, asking me, what, you know, do you recommend bioidentical hormones? What do you think about, oh, you know, hormone balancing? And I used to say, you know what, that is a topic that I'm not familiar with. I don't have expertise in. I don't know. I don't even know who to refer you to because there are conventional doctors on the one gamut and then there are you know, loosey goosey, kind of, kind of like, <laughs> try, try this, this will work for you kind of thing. So right. I spent the better part of the last 10 years traveling and working with top researchers, such as Professor Michelle Poulin, um, observing and studying centenarians. These are people that live over 100 years of age and exist with abundant vitality. So throughout my research, I noticed that unlike the modern woman, who like, you know, in this modern world would violently enter menopause, these centenarian women uh, eased gently 
into this beautiful phase of their life, right? So that's that. And years ago during one of my travels, I vividly remember going through a very violent hormone imbalance reaction. And I literally, Christine, I thought I was dying. I was curled up. I was thousands of miles away from home. And it was second day into taking um, a prescribed bioidentical hormone from a holistic functional practitioner. Um, and I was curled up in bed. I was in tremendous amount of pain. The, the sweating was profuse and it kept intensifying. I have three kids. Childbirth was nothing compared to this. And two hours later, I broke out. The sweating stopped. The bed sheets were wet. The mattress was soaking wet. And I was just like, what? What happened? And I remember in those intense times, in that intense period when I was curled up, the women who were coming to me telling, complaining, not complaining, but expressing what they were suffering from, the brain fog, hot flashes, night sweating, you know, loss of libido, you know, the pain that they were going through with their relationships, how this is affecting their productivity and all that. I, it was so weird, Christine, because I was feeling their pain, like as though it was like, like it was all intense. And you were, you were almost being like an empath as well, feeling all of their symptoms and, and things that they were going through. Right? Completely, completely. Oh, wow. And, it, and that was when I realized that, that's not when I realized, by the way, it took me a few moments, like a few weeks. It, I look back, I'm like, wow, that was a blessing in disguise. And, you know, what was happening with me is that I was in perimenopause and like your typical modern woman, I was burning both ends of the candle and I was experiencing sleeplessness, night sweating, massive amounts of hair loss, no libido and very little energy. And I just wanted to get a quick fix because I didn't have time. To do I don't get time for this. <laughs> yeah. I don't have time for this. I'm taking care of so many people. <laughs> so what happened and seeing uh, what I was going through while I was away from home and this violent reaction happened. I got help from the centenarian women in the village and that I was staying with and they provided me with a TLC and the relief that I needed uh, to help significant, uh, significantly alleviate the symptoms. So that was my turning point. And I realized, holy cow, I can't even do bioidentical hormones, something that's supposed to be very benign, right? I realized that in order to regain my balance, I needed to implement a multi-dimensional strategy that was evidence-based and rooted in ancient wisdom. Mm. So when I returned back, I started studying, reading, interviewing experts in different fields, including endocrinologists, scientists, functional doctors, sleep specialists, more and on and on and on. I was on this mad mission. And so inspired by my experience and the lifestyle and diet, I wrote the book, 50 Shades of Grain, the truth about eating bread and feeling great and evil gluten. <laughs> I do it. No, actually it's kind of the opposite. Oh, really? Yes, totally. Like it's so funny because it's okay. I've had conversations, very productive conversations with Dr. Tom O'Brien, the mm -hmm. influence of the person, the very amazing human being, being who brought to light gluten sensitivity and celiac. So I am not taking away the fact that it does exist and it does exist because of the way our foods are processed. Right. Right. So in this book, and because again, I was inspired by my travels around the world, I'm like, what is going on? And I thought like by traveling every time I would go, especially when I was invited to go uh, visit the blue zones, I'm like, this blue zones are places around the world that house the most centenarians. Right. So I thought, oh, for sure. They're gluten free for sure. They're, you know, no. I have they're not. They're in Italy. They're in France. They're eating the bread. Exactly. Like so it's our bread. Is it our bread? It's our bread. It's our bread. It's from seed to the way it's processed. And if, you know, and because grains are so fragile, they're fragile molecule, they, uh, it's easy for them to go rancid. 
through heat and speed. So it's easy for that to break down. So from seed, whether they're, you know, if it's genetically modified, forget about it. That already your, your gut. You're compromised. Your gut, right. Exactly. Your gut is like, what the hell is that you're eating? Right. So that doesn't recognize that. So you want it to be organic um, and you want it to make sure that it's pesticide free. Uh, optimally. A lot of times, especially in the United States, they spray fumigus, fumigicides um, uh, in, onto the grains to get rid of mold. And they put them in these silos that are just uh, conducive to heat and mold, right? Heat and humidity is that creates mold. So they spray a lot of chemicals on there. So that degrades the grain right there, right? And then you, get, you go to the um, processing part. And there's so many different parts. That's why it's called 50 shades of gray. <laughs> just right. That's why it's called it that. Wow. And so, and then doing the processing part of it and how it's processed, is it slow speed or is it stone ground? That makes a huge difference in the mo- the modern grain processing or modern bakeries, um, use high speed and high heat processing, degrading the grain even more and just altering it so our body does not recognize that. And also um, fermenting the bread, it's, it's quick fermentation, now it's done. It doesn't allow the grain to break down uh, the phytochemicals and all the other things that break down the things that make us so sensitive to the modern grain. So there's a big difference between the modern grain and the ancient grain, and I talk about that in the 50 Shades of Grain. So that, that you just mentioned a whole lot of a yeah. whole lot of places where it could go really wrong. Yes. Or it could go really, really yes. well. Exactly. Right? And we have options in the United States. You don't have to move to one of the blue zones. Okay. You don't have to move right. to Italy. No, you don't. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and I'm going to, because I, I definitely, I want to have you back on the show just to focus on that, on that book, because that is something that really people want to know. So I'm so um, excited that you did that research. So, um, so along with that, we're, our bodies are, uh, there's a battle going on, (laughs) right? The inflammation that happens, of course, from that. Um, when we're ingesting that type of, of the grains that are not properly done and, mm-hmm. and done for our well-being, but are mass produced. Um, so we have all of that. And then, and then our hormones come into play at that beautiful transitional age uh, as well. Um, so, so you found out from with these centenarians that it wasn't the bread. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't the bread. No, it's not the bread. That's not the getting rid of, like depriving yourself and taking away the pleasures of life is not the answer to getting into the balance. And it's not the wisdom did not come just from studying centenarian women or men for that matter. It was really a combination of looking and observing, not just reading in text. It's one thing to read in text because by the way, a lot of times when you read in text, you do Dr. Google, <clears throat> you research on the internet, there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of disinformation, yeah. right? I yeah. love to go boots on ground. I like to go see. That's why it's such an honor when the researcher invites me to go along to these places. So I can actually see for myself and ask questions, journalistic questions, you know, investigative questions like, what do you, you know, one thing led to another because they're, they're very quiet people. They just want to, don't want to be disturbed. Not yes. quiet, right? <laughs> so <laughs> observing them and asking and being mindful and respectful of their life and also um, living in a modern world, we have a lot of technology. We have a lot of beautiful um, <clears throat> tools that we can use, but it's really important to know how to use them. Because it's like <clears throat> giving a child uh, a gun saying, go ahead and shoot at that target. And it's going to be missing that target most of the time. You know, okay. you want to be able to hire a sharpshooter if you want to target what is the matter. First of all, you want to eliminate what the, you know, the things that add toxins to your body, the things that add inflammation, the things that throw you off, right? Yeah. You, and then you want to add uh, nutrients so that you're nourished. You want to hydrate your body. And at the same time, a lot of women are at a place where they need a lot of support. It's not just like, oh, let me just get rid of this and let me consume this. 
they need a lot of guidance, a lot of support. And finding the right practitioner and the support team has been like, for me, that's how I got, uh, I turned around. Without the help of the mentors and the support that I got, there's no way. I would have been spiraling down the path of like losing more hair and night sweating. I don't experience night sweating. And thank goodness my hair's back and I feel so energetic and it feels with, good. With women that are, that are going through um, uh, menopause, perimenopause, premenopause, the whole menopause island, <laughs> um, what are some of the, just, and, and this is also for, for men because um, I, I want, first of all, I want women who are, who are not there yet or who maybe who are going through it um, to know this, the signs and also I want the, for the, the men that love them and the, the young, the women that love their partners um, to know what are some of the things we, we talked about um, nights. We talked about night sweats, right? We talked about the, that, that phenomenon and losing hair. What are some of the other things that a woman could be going through and they think it's something else? That's they, right. You know, That's right. I'm so glad you asked that question. There are the few things that go under the radar, right? There is the moodiness. There's the things that happen here. Uh, anxiety, depression. Anxiety. That's a huge one. So, uh, but women could be, diag could be diagnosing themselves saying, I have anxiety, I have depression, and then going on some um, medication. <laughs> antidepressant which also the antidepressants have side effects like suicidal thoughts and right. liver you know okay so so anxiety and depression is something that women can experience when they're going through this oh i see a lot of women who experience that and it stems a lot from the imbalance in the hormones and of course it has a lot to do with the gut and what you're consuming and all that that affects your hormones it's incredible like i i can't tell you christine how many women i speak with who you you know you can tell their essence right when you look at them you know what they're about they're bubbly they're like full of life they're full yes. of, you know like they're just like full of light and their light has dimmed and they can't go to work they can't they don't feel productive they don't feel like they can't be the mother that they want to be because they're angry, they're moody, um, you know, and they blame it on, um, you know, um, menopausal or whatever, you know, and, and, or, you know, what is the worst, Christine, is when they go to a practitioner and they're feeling this and the doctor says, oh, you're just a mother, you're busy, you're, you have a busy life, your schedule is full. And it's so dismissive. I had, I have had women come to me saying, Caroline, I've been in menopause for two to three years. I went to the doctor to have blood tests done and it, the blood test came out fine. And doctor tells me, I'm telling him, you haven't had a cycle for the three, two to three years. Doctor says, you're not in menopause. And it's frustrating and they don't know what to do. They don't, so, so guess what happens? They suffer in silence. Yes. Yes. What are, what are some of the other things? Um, cause we had touched on just a little bit. Um, this, the skin, the, that's, um, elasticity of the skin, yeah. elasticity. And also, um, do, I don't know if it's almost like going through that puberty stage where you have, some people have, um, acne, yes. um, things like that. And that's also still internally, the hormones are kind of acting up. So it's pushing out through the skin. Exactly. That's exactly what happens. You know, a lot of times, you know, what happens with, with our bodies is that our hormones, they kick in, right? They're called to action. We have so many different kinds of hormones and receptors. So they kick in, they get into action and right away they're done with their job. They need to be metabolized and gone through the system. So what happens in the modern world is we're so literally clogged up, you know, we still clogged up in all parts of our organs that these hormones that are metabolized, they recirculate in our bodies and it just taxes the rest of the body, especially the liver. So the liver is the place where it filters out toxins, right? When it's over, when it's taxed, you know, and it just can't handle anymore. So it turns up in the skin. It turns up in so oh. many ways and it turns up in moodiness, depression, anxiety, Forgetfulness, 
That would make sense. So also if the liver is taxed, is that where that's because that's where people where they say you get the age spots, the liver liver yeah. spots. Yes. So that could be a darkening the spots, the dark spots that come up on the skin. Yeah. What about also like with with white spot, like um, people who have a change in the skin tone with like with white, like a, almost like a discoloring of the skin? Any type, whenever there is a discoloration of the skin, whenever there is an imbalance where it's like your, your our bodies are so amazing. They're innately yeah. designed yeah. to be in balance mode. So when it's not in balance mode, it gives you signals. And if you can't hear it, sometimes it's very faint. It's not as loud as like the noise outside and all right. these, you know, commercials that are loud to, you know, it would suffocate that very faint noise when we don't hear it then it comes in other forms. It's like, okay, I'm gonna get a little louder. And it comes in, you know, for everyone, by the way, it's very different. Everybody's so different, right. Everyone's different, because we all have, we're human, we're not immortal, and we do have weak points. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not about fixing him. It's about, you know, using, um, I'm sure you've heard, and I don't know if your audience is familiar, epigenetics. Epigenetics is a study of how the environment affects how your genes are expressed. So we all yes. have weak genes. It's not about finding that weak gene and freaking out about it and saying, oh my God, I have this weak gene, I'm done, right? And all, <laughs> right. You know, like, oh my God, I have this weak gene, so that's the answer. No, it, knowing is important, right? Being aware, knowing what to do with that is super like key. So suffering in silence, it's just not going to make things better. It's just it's going to perpetuate things and so you know we want to listen to our bodies our skin changes um joint pain it's another thing that um oh, women experience a lot and they can't do the things that they love to do like i can't tell you how many women uh, that i know of in my dancing world who can't dance as much or anymore because they're in pain they can't that's a sh that's so damn shame that's such a shame yes Isn't it? yes it is and also, one of the things too that happened, I guess, also with these with the hormones, is um, some women will notice a an increase in weight, a, a weight gain, and they're like, "I don't understand. I'm not eating anything. I'm not. <laughs> I haven't eaten in three days, but I keep gaining weight." Um, or the inflammation, you know, that that happens with the body. And again, it's that out of being out of out of balance. Um, so this is a real holistic, um, thing that we're talking about too. It's not just one, one, one aspect, right? It can, no, affect, it can affect and, everything. It affects you, not just the body, by the way. Let me just go to the weight thing. So I, I hear a lot of women gaining a lot of weight around here yeah. and they try so hard, different diets, like insane workout routines. They lose it, but they know deep down inside they're afraid because they'll gain it back and more right? Yeah. So that is a real issue. And we wanted to address it not from a point of, you know, go do more workouts, go work your butt off, or deprive yourself of life-giving foods. It's not about that. It's about living life, living it in balance. So the other places you were talking about holistically, so we're talking a lot right now about physical, and although we went into the mind too, like the anxiety, depression, and moodiness, there's also the energetic component that most practitioners don't know or they don't touch that. And there's this energy component of, you know, a lot of times women who come to me, they come to me wanting certain things. And of course I can help them. If I, 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 I qualify them and see if it's a fit, if I can help them, totally I bring them on, right? And a lot of times in, right from the get-go usually, we find out clues and we see that there's an imbalance in other parts of their lives, relationships, their soul. They may not be doing that is soul fulfilling and their soul literally may be pissed. And, <laughs> it's, right. It's unhappy. They're not happy. Yeah. It's not happy. So it's going to manifest in a physical form because any sort of imbalance creates some sort of a blockage. So I always explain and the, the analogy that I give, it's like the mind, body, and spirit are like a three-legged stool. 
right? So we can't just focus on the physical part, make it in balance. And there's so many different aspects in the physical part. There's so, so many lifestyle choices. There's a movement, there's sleep, there is eating, there's detoxing, right? There's the other bodies as well. There is a mental body and then there's energetic body where most people just don't pay attention because they're not aware of it. Yeah. And it's really important to um, pay attention to that. Oh, totally. A hundred thousand percent. Oh, uh, I, you know, what's interesting is that um, there are also really good things that happen when, when a woman goes through, through menopause. And, and I want, I want to also focus on that because, um, oh, I'm okay. So I just turned 55 and just very recently, um, I would say the last three years, three to four years, I knew that was, you know, what was happening. Um, being gentle still a little bit on myself too, like with, with the issues with the weight and things like that, trying to be as gentle as I can. Yeah. But um, one of the best things that happened was, was this. I had probably since I was a teenager experienced horrific migraines mm. my entire life, my entire adult life. Let's put it this way. And the la I would say um, as I was getting older, they were getting, more intense. I had been through, I had gone through research. I had been like a guinea pig. I had, you know, things on my, to try and figure out what was trigger, triggering these migraines. And I would um, have to rely on heavy medication at a certain point mm -hmm. in order just to relieve it because I, I wanted to, you know, can't tolerate it. Yeah. You, you did, uh, I think it was that movie Pie. Uh, it was a, it's a strange film called Pie where the, the, the main character has these insane migraines and they, they want to basically like just put a drill and just, you know, <laughs> drill through their, their head because that's how painful they are. And uh, after with all the doctors and all the research and everything, no one ever put two and two together and said, hmm, Christine, you seem to be getting a migraine right before your period and then you get a migraine right after nobody wow. and even christine didn't know because also when you're in it you yeah. don't you and when you have it you just like i just need to have everything dark i can't work i can't i can't be around people wow. so what i noticed was literally the moment i stopped having my period i stopped having <laughs> migraines <laughs> See, that's a great I was thing. so happy. <laughs> I save all this money on medication. I have not had a migraine. I'm knocking on my ha wooden hand. No, I haven't <laughs> had. I haven't had a migraine. Every now and then, I may have a little, uh, little normal headache. But I welcome normal headaches because I've experienced those migraines. Have you dealt with with your uh, with your wonderful uh, clients, people you work with, this issue of migraines and that hormonal? <laughs> Totally. That's one of the things that helps when we work in a multifaceted way, not just, you know, here's a pill you take, here's a supplement yeah. you take, uh, let's just run a, a <coughs> blood test, not looking at the timing of the test, not, you know, looking at the range that's relevant to you, let's compare it to the sick people range, you know, all this stuff and, and compose, com compiling or compounding uh, a formula that does not even fit your needs and saying, okay, take this. It's not that. You, once you implement things that work for your biological uniqueness and your lifestyle's uh, needs, and um, with the help of people who can you know, help you step by step, then it's so interesting how things get into balance because not all women, that he happened to be your weak point, right? That, that area, whenever you had your cycle, then you had migraine. So it was this place that was your weak point, actually, not down there. But we don't have to go through suffering. Even if you had your cycle, you know, if you learned how to, and, and by the way, the key is you know better than anyone else. You know yourself better than anyone else. Look at all these research that you've done the clue was within you. You had it all along. It just, you needed maybe a tool or two, like maybe a food log would have, you know, 
um, triggered. I just needed, I needed to know, I needed to make that connection and all the medical doctors and all the experts <clears throat> never asked. My doctor never, ever asked that question. Wow. So insane. we're talking decades. Oh, now, so other than that, I was very blessed, and I and I do believe that I have my uh, grandmother's genes. She lived to be a hundred, uh, almost a hundred and one, so she was a hundred plus. Um, but I'm I luckily I did not have that whole thing of the night sweats and the anxiety and the depression and all of that. It was actually relatively smooth. I know I'm still kind of going through it, but I'm very grateful that yeah. you know now. I still am aware that there are those things that I need to be cognizant of exactly. and especially the, the diet aspect and, um, and the mental aspect as well about keeping myself like on in check, but it's a constant, right? It's a, it's a, it's a balancing act that we have to do when we're in this phase of our lives. And it's a practice that we do on a consciously, all the time. It's not like you go on a diet for two weeks and you're yeah. like, oh, I'm done. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a lifestyle practice that you do to ensure not just longevity, but vibrancy. Who wants to like live a long time suffering, you know, being debilitated? And have, you know, you may not have had other symptoms that migraine was enough for you, like that covered everything. So yes. not all women go through all those symptoms, by the way. Some of them may just experience migraine. Some of them may just experience hair loss, you know, and the other things that they experience are so like not as loud as the migraine. So it may not seem as a big deal. Right. Right. And you also brought up like a really good point. Like uh, in, in um, ancient wisdom tells us that menopause was like the time in our lives when women were revered when women were, were honored, when the feminine was honored, that was a time when the woman was stepping into the wise. They were revered, they were cherished. And that's a time when you really come in and be in, in, a, in, in a way to the tribe that you couldn't be before. And thank goodness it's because of the hormonal changes we're going through. And that was a time when they could be expressing themselves sexually freely because they didn't have to worry about getting pregnant. Yay! Right? <laughs> so that, there was a lot of, there's a lot. Uh, it was a very powerful, that's a very powerful, uh, that's a very, wow, that's just, that hasn't been celebrated or, or discussed at all. Oh my it's, gosh, I have so many women who, who are afraid, deathly afraid. They're like, oh my gosh, we want to avoid menopause. They think they're going to, uh, turn into a wrinkly old lady. <laughs> yes. <Really>? You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to shrink into nothing. <laughs> yeah, but that's not the case. It's really, it is, it's really a very, very special time, isn't it? Yes, very much so. It needs to be celebrated, but yeah. we need to take action. We're the only ones who can take action. In fact, you know, two days ago, I was, I think I was mentioning this to you um, off air. Um, I was going through very much frustration. I was very like feeling the pain and anger of the women who are going through suffering. And I was just watching and sometimes I watch how some women, you know, they're in suffering and they want to do something about it, but they don't take action. And, you know, it's really important to be able to participate and, and be in you know, like uh, an active mode of changing the conversation because a lot of women, they're suffering. They may be aware of it. Some may be aware of there's a suffering and they want to take control of their health. They, they, they want to take back control of their health, but they're still in the same conversation. You know, they're in the he heads, you know, how to deal with it. They're still going to the same practitioner who's using <clears throat> the beautiful technology that's in our hands, but not knowing how to use it to be able to guide us through, and they don't even know how to guide us. They may just say, oh, just take this pill. And by the way, I'm not saying bioidentical hormones does not help anybody. Um, it is the last resort. The endocrine specialist um, who's on, um, on my team, on my advisory board, um, the vice president of American Association of uh, environmental medicine, who's also on my advisory board, and the scientist who's also on my advisory board, 
all of them understand the importance of doing the key foundational changes, in, which is really not easy, it's, it's, but it can be done you know, if you know what to do that's geared towards you, that's right for you. Um, and everything falls into place. And the things that don't fall into place, then at that time you resort to such things as bioidentical hormones. Oh boy, that is really, really important because, well, again, because it's not talked about, it's, 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 we're not educated about this phase of our lives. So when something happens, we just go to the doctor and, and say, I need hormones. I need, you know, I need hormone replacement because I'm losing my hair. I'm, you know, I woke up and all of a sudden I look 20 years older. Yes. You know, it, 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 we panic. We go, oh my God, I'm getting old. Um, yeah. Give me a pill right? Give me a pill. Give me a shot. Yes. And, and that, that's not necessarily the, the way to go. And that's why I, I so happy that you're doing the work that you do. Um, you. So, uh, so what can, what can women do? Well, other than contacting you and I, and actually um, I, I want you to give out your information so women can, um, can learn more. Um, maybe even can, can schedule time with you if possible. Um, let's do that now and then we're going to, we'll do that also at the end. So people have that information, but how can people reach you? What's the best way to reach you? If they have questions, if they want to work with you more, um, or uh, gain more knowledge on the subject. Totally. So I want to offer your audience because I know they're very conscious and they're uh, also the kind who will take action. Um, if, for any woman who is at a place where she's like done suffering and she wants to take charge of her health and um, she just needs the uh, help right away, um, I'm happy to open up my schedule for free 30 minute hormone breakthrough session. Oh you my are, gosh, that's wonderful. You are welcome, yes. And so um, I will give the link where they can schedule that call. And the other thing that I'm offering, so um, a lot of women came to me saying, oh my gosh, can you do just like an intense, like a three-day course where you can set us up for success and give us like the roadmap um, that is personalized towards us. And it's hard to do that, you know, if I'm not one-on-one -on -one with somebody. So I created a three-day program called Happy Hormone Breakthrough Live, January 20th, 21st, and 22nd, 2020. It's in beautiful Topanga, gorgeous venue. Oh my gosh, Topanga is beautiful. Isn't yeah. it? Oh my yeah. gosh. And the venues, is it's a wedding destination. I was able to secure that. It's indoor and if weather permits, we can be in a beautiful amphitheater surrounded by gorgeous, uh, you know, oak trees. And um, that's where you'll, you know, women can learn about the triggers um, behind their symptoms. They'll learn practical um, effective solutions to rebalancing their hormones. Um, they will gain access to support, mentorship, and tools that I have gained access to. And it took me years. I'm happy to share that with women. And they will, there's a few other things. Um, oh, they will be part of like-hearted community of women. I can't tell you how many times women are like, we feel so alone. We can't talk to anybody. Or if they're talking to their friends, it feels like they're bitching and moaning because there's no structure. Contained. They feel like they're just venting. They're just they're like they're just complaining. Which is right. better than not, which is better than suppressing it. But it, it, there's not a container, a structure where it will help them process and, you know, help them get to that solution that is fit for them. Right. So, and also they will be way, um, to be on their way of becoming their own healers. And, um, the price of the event is well over $997. Um, I'm offering an early bird pricing of 397 and it includes community building meals, uh, three lunches and a dinner, which is nice. organic, sustainably grown and locally produced all this for only $397 for three days three days in Topanga with all of that knowledge and support and education yes. and great food and you. Yeah. And, <laughs> and not just me, I'm bringing in the experts who understand 
you know, uh, the body. Endocrine, endocrine and hormonal experts from all, in all different aspects, they're going to be there as well. So you're offering this and it's a, that's a huge discount to our listeners. This is January. What were the dates again? January 20th, 21st, and 22nd. It does require a commitment from a woman. I know that because you have to account for the time off. Uh, maybe, you know, if you have younger children, who's going to be watching them? It does require a woman to say yes. It does require all of us. If we want to be in a state of balance, if we want to be happy, if we want to change the conversation, I was going to throw a profanity in there, but I'm not. <laughs> if we want to change the conversation, we need to take the first step. We need to learn how to have that conversation. We need to take action. We need to take action. And the first step would be not to continue the same perpetual cycle. Well, let me take care of this. Let me make sure like work is situated, but this person needs my help. Say yes to yourself. Say yes to yourself and everything will fall into place. I have a woman coming from Germany. I have two women from, coming from Canada. And it's just a matter of you saying say yes to yourself and opening up this world of opportunity for yourself. Well, and, and it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity. $397. I know, I know that the value, like you were saying, is, is much higher, but that is an amazing offer mm -hmm. for our listeners for three days of, uh, of, of changing somebody's life for that. And the impact, because also when you, when you take action and you, you work on healing yourself and, and understanding what you, what you're going through, who you are, then that also has a ripple effect. It affects your relationships, your, your intimate relationships with your loved ones, your children, your spouse, your colleagues. It also has a huge impact on just how you come out to the world. Mm -hmm. And so in your career and, and, and the way you look at the world. So I am, I'm so, so happy that you're, you're offering that to, to our listeners. How do they, how do they uh, take advantage of that, of that offer? So I'll give you the link to share with your audience and they just click Fantastic. on that and they can look more in detail and um, just make plans right away and just click on purchase and boom, they'll get instructions on what to do. And again, if, uh, the, and by the way, this is a great gift to give. If this is a man listening, it's a great gift to give to the woman in your life. Or if it's a woman listening and you want it, it's a great gift to give to a sister of yours, you know? And you're saving four over $400, right? You're getting so much more than that because, I mean, it's so hard to, it's like it's priceless. How do you price three days of cumulative knowledge that has been tested and proven? And with the panel, the first day, it's over 50 years of experience in hormones alone. And wow. these are experts in the area of endocrinology. I mean, I mean, this is not the run of the mill type of like, oh, you know, do this, uh, eat healthy, sleep better, just the generic thing. This is going to be a, a, a sort of like a deep dive, although to get that deeper dive, it requires uh, another level of commitment of like doing more one-on-one, -on -one. but it, it is great um, first step to going into like, again, knowing how to change a conversation within yourself. Do you understand your body so well? So you're like, oh, this is, this is why everything works in synergy together. This is how this organ works with that organ. The thyroid works with this. This is how everything works together. This is how my mind works. Oh, energetic. Oh, what's happening in my life? Oh, it's out of balance. It may be affecting me physically, right? So all those things, it gives you clues and you have awareness and, and you get tools of knowing what to do with that, right? And it's just not Beautiful. leaving you high and dry. Like, okay, good luck. See ya. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful gift. And that is a, a, that is a wonderful gift for the holidays too, just to start the year off. What a great way to start the year. Um, thank you so much. And so we'll make sure that we have um, the links, um, the, the proper link for that associated with this uh, program. And so people can take advantage of that. And for those, uh, for, for those that are listening to this or watching this on, on YouTube, who are not able to to make it they live you know extremely far away or they're f financially not able to take the time off and to to fly out to be with you in january 
what are some, um, and we're going to give you contact information too, uh, so that they can reach out to you. Cause I know people, I know there's so many women right now who are like, I have to talk to her. <laughs> I, I really need to talk to her. So she, cause th the thing is that is knowing that, um, that they're not alone and that they're not crazy. They're not mm -hmm. going crazy. And there's know? solutions around that that are practical, effective, and natural. And let's talk about some of the, can you, um, we got a, we got a little bit more time left. Is it possible to talk about just some of the things that, you know, I know everybody is different, right? Yeah. I know. Right, right. But if you could just even like um, a list of a few things that women who are going through this, that they can do. It doesn't matter what phase you are in, but, you know, that can kind of apply. And it might be um, some things that are dietary, some things that are um, uh, cognitive, lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, please you got it. I'll drop you, some you, knowledge on us. You got it. I'm so glad you have some time. Okay. So the first thing is uh, what kind of uh, fats to eat, what kind of fats to ditch, because that has a huge impact um, on our bodies. Um, because about 80% of our diet consists of fats and oils, whether it comes from a whole food source, whether you're consuming it, like uh, whatever, avocados, other kinds of fats, animal fats, or in processed foods, you package foods, or when you go to restaurants, right? And most oils on the market are generated from grains. And what kind of fats and oils we consume has a huge positive or negative in fact, impact on our weight, energy, stamina, mental clarity, and our health. So again, it ties back to the book, 50 Shades of Grain, which by the way, that's an easy, you know, thing that can, I can give you the link for uh, people to purchase that book. So it's a very easy. We'll include that link. We'll definitely include the link on that. And I'm going to get a copy as well. Okay. And then, <laughs> So the, the one gift that I can give um, to your subscribers, I'll give them um, an email, uh, a link to subscribe, and right away they will receive free cheat sheet to which fats to eat and which fats to ditch. Great. So they can take that to the grocery store. They can take that to anywhere and say, okay, I want to consume uh, those fats that are in green color. And yellow color, I have to, so I did it in a way so that it's green, yellow, and red, right? Green, go, yellow, be cautious, red, avoid. Um, so the yellow are the fats that are heart healthy, they're amazing, but you have to be careful, you can't heat it up. And um, yeah, this is amazing gift. So they can start off from there and it will have a huge impact on, again, their hormones. And then the second recommendation I have is, it sounds generic, like sleep is really important, but I will share with the audience like um, some things to do so they can get a better quality sleep. Because during sleep, good quality sleep, not just putting your head down, but when you're in that state, deep sleep state, that's where repair and regeneration happens and uh, growth hormones kick in, and that's really helpful for your skin, your hair, your joints, right? So a lot of women who are going through hormonal imbalance, they're not, their sleep is off, either because they're having night sweating, and that's, you know, keeping them up. Like every, Anxiety. Anxiety is another one. Keeping people up, right? right. Yeah, keep, keep, keeping things up. So some of the things you can do to help ease into sleep is um is creating a quiet space like an hour before going to bed and first of all going to bed at a consistent time right not one day at 2 a.m another one 8 a.m it throws you off we we're creatures of habit you know this is where routine uh comes in beautifully it's not boring it it helps us be in balance so we can do the exciting things, right? This is one of the secrets I've learned from centenarians. They are so boring. They have the same routine <laughs> of going to bed, getting up, but they have a life that's full. They're able to dance. They're able to have sex in their 90s. Hello. Who Hello. <laughs> I want that, right? Yes. So, when they have those rituals, those healthy routines, then you can do the things that you really wish you want. 
you want to dim lights and you want to avoid uh, electromagnetic field, uh, things that generate electromagnetic field in your room. So alarm clocks, phones, um, anything of that sort that may generate EMF and throw your um, system off because we're a lot more sensitive now. That's another thing, Christine, we're stepping into the wise and we are super sensitive. So we don't tolerate BS anymore. The things that we were able to tolerate when we were younger, whether it's people, relationship, whatever. Yeah. Right? Energy. I mean, energy from, from electromagnetic energy, but also energy from people as well. Like you, I, it's like, no, 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 no. I can't be around that. No, nope. Yeah. I can't be around that person because like that negative energy. Mm -hmm. That can throw you off. So I hope those tips are helpful. Yes. And then, and then they're going to get more, obviously they're going to get a lot more information if they can make the, uh, the three day, oh. uh, that what is it? Happy hormone. What is, what is, what yeah. was? Happy hormone breakthrough live event. Absolutely. Uh, it. It's where we can dive a little deeper, you know, and we can go into like, it's, it's an intimate event and, uh, I'm not making it a huge event for that reason, because I want to keep it intimate. I don't want it, I want it to be where you, you know, you get your needs met because every woman's so unique and just so that you can walk away with those key points. Like I, I promised that you would walk away with, you know, knowing your symptoms, you know, um, getting access to support, mentorship and tools, knowing how to have that language, changing that conversation so that when you go and first of all, knowing how to find the right practitioner to work with because it, it's hard to do it alone. It's hard to do it alone. It's overwhelming. And anything that's too hard and overwhelming, we, yeah. we tend to just, uh, just go, it's, it's useless. You know, yeah. I'll just going to grin and bear it. I'll just go through the, this is the other thing too, is that women, mm -hmm. um, especially we suffer alone because we think that that's our lot in life. A lot of times, you know, yep. well, I'll just do it by my, I'll, I'll, I'll suffer through this. I'll, you know, I, I got this and, and women are so strong. Mm, yes. But we don't I, have to suffer in silence and we don't have, and we shouldn't do it alone. Yeah. And, and menopause is not, and whether it's perimenopause or menopause or after whatever, we're not meant to live in suffering. And I see that over and over again. So this is not our lot in life, right? Um, it's incredible how, we can live our life vibrantly without needing to move into one of the blue zones and without deprivation or feeling guilty. And it's just, it's just going back to our balanced state, mind, body, and spirit. And it really requires the, first of all, commitment from the woman, you know, yes. from the person, like if you don't want to do it or you can't get to that place of like, okay, I'm going to put everything else on hold. It sounds like it's such cultural conditioning. It's such cultural bull, sorry, BS that we've been conditioned to believe like, oh, you're a good girl. You're a good wife. You're a good mother. You're a good daughter. Uh, if you're taking care of somebody else and we end up putting everyone else first and then putting ourselves last and then we're suffering and we can't take care of the people. And the, that's exactly how I was. I love taking care of people. Can you tell? I love <laughs> taking care of people and there's no way in hell I could do that if I'm not in balance. Oh, what a great way to, to end the show. I, 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 I'm so happy that you just said that and, and we want to change that, change the discussion and celebrate mm -hmm. the phase that we are going into. Mm -hmm. Like you were talking about that. This is something we are in our, our height of wisdom. We're in the, 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 the highest point in our, in our whole lifetime also of intuition and passion and touching that divine. And it's a, it's a cause for celebration. And that's what we want to do with the show is turn that, that, um, that dynamic around and celebrate where we're going and where, or where we're, where we're going and where, and where we're at right now. Right. As well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so for people, and you had mentioned earlier too, that, uh, you're offering to the listeners if they, um, if they, uh, reach out to you a 30 minute consult as well. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yourself. That's yeah. amazing. And so, and for them to do that, um, we'll have a link associated with that. I'll write okay. it down to make sure to give that to you. 
Wonderful. Yeah. And, and so for folks who want to get in touch with you, who want to schedule that very valuable third, I know how, I know how valuable your time is. And I th you're going to get a lot of, a lot of people who have listened to the show and watched it, who are going to say, I just need to, uh, I need to, to work with Caroline. And, and I really, yeah. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> I've got I've got a few people I've got a few women that I am definitely sending your way and um and myself included because I I, I love well I just love learning and I am so so excited about um, being introduced to you I was introduced to you from one of my master teachers uh, Barbara Savin who is uh, oh, just an angel just a darling angel and so when she said you've got to meet Caroline you've got to meet her I said okay I trust you and it. <laughs> This is perfect. And so I'm very, very happy and, and honored to, to know you as well. And you can become one of my other master teachers as well. Oh, what an honor. Thank you so much, Christine. It's such a pleasure and it's such an honor to be on this platform and to be of service to you and your community. Oh, thank you so much. And I want to thank you wonderful listeners uh, as well for tuning in to this very special program. If you, uh, if you think that someone else that you know and love can benefit from this, please share this program. And you can do that easily. Uh, the best way to do it is do it through YouTube because you can easily share it on your social media, post it on your Facebook page, email it to your friends. Um, make sure that you send this information because I think it can really change, uh, change someone's life for the better and let them know that they don't have to go through this alone and they're not going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And it's, uh, and as always, you can find out more about this podcast show at outofthebox.withchristine.com. And you can subscribe, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, like and subscribe to uh, the program on iTunes, or it's called Apple Podcasts now. Also Spotify, Podbean, iHeartRadio, et cetera, et cetera. And so until next time, as I always say, remember to think outside of that damn box. <laughs> Bye.